After becoming the first player ever drafted into the National Football League with no prior football experience, Jordan Mailata was eager to take in the sights, sounds, and tastes of his new home, Philadelphia. The city, my goodness. They are very passionate. They love their sports, they love their people, you know, and, and I think that's something special about the city. I think brotherly love, you know, it's one thing here, I believe it. It's kind of like the Philly staple, having the cheesesteak, as you can see. And believe it or not, that's the original Geno's in 1966 right there. That's when my dad opened. Oh, wow. That's what it looked like to now. We got Robert De Niro, Justin Timberlake, and JT, uh, JT yeah, anytime he's in town, he usually stops by like late night after the concert. Oh, the food's great here, mate. Whew. The food is great. I know you're hungry. Why don't we get on the grill and make some cheese sticks? Let's make it out. Yeah. As you can see, it's like a deck of cards. So when we throw it, it'll be all lined up. After this, I'm gonna make you a special sandwich that's one of my favorites, called the Milano. Milano. It's gonna be uh, grilled tomatoes with some oregano, provolone cheese, and fried onions on top. It's all gonna be melted together. And we're gonna get some onions over here. Fresh off the grill, right from Gino. Fresh, fresh off the grill, straight from Gino. <laughs> It tastes just like the first time? Even better. <laughs> Even better. Great day today of the Gino's and that, that Milano cheesesteak. I'm telling you now, Gino's, it was amazing. It blew my mind. All right, thanks, Jordan. I appreciate you coming by. It was such an honor. Right, Congratulations, thank and thanks for making the first cheesesteak here. Yeah, thank you for having me here. It's been a blast. Uh, like Milano really changed my life, really. With his crash course in Philadelphia cuisine complete, Jordan turns his attention to the real challenge, making an NFL roster. Coming here, the journey has been fun. But at the same time, it's so challenging, trying to learn all the new techniques, trying to learn how to run block, trying to learn how to pass it. There are days where it's dark and there are days where there's light. For the Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles, athleticism isn't the only talent developing in the locker room. There's a girl on the other side of the world. I'm one of five kids. I'm the second youngest. You know, our culture of being Samoan, you know, we're all musically talented or gifted in some way in those islands. So, you know, growing up, always used to you know, whip out the guitar and start singing. She's good class. Because I was a musician before I was an athlete. She can make a man. Falling now, there's nothing to see, no way to go. On. She's standing next. I see music as therapy uh, when everything's going you know, a million miles now in your head. Gives you a break, gives you time to breathe, and make you realize that you are going to have ups and downs and you just need to keep remembering that every day is a new day. I think that's one thing that I've learned to live by. You're his one the glass brandy. I'm trying to get that Stapleton voice. It's not working though. I just can't hit it. There can only be one. In a culture where rookies typically deflect attention, Jordan Mailata proves to be comfortable standing in the spotlight. But in less than a week, it will be more than his voice at center stage. Jordan will make his American football debut in a place no one has before, an NFL game. And it will come against a familiar face, fellow rugby player and NFL pathway prospect Christian Scotland Williamson. The long wait is officially over. Welcome to Lincoln Financial Field here in Philadelphia as the Eagles begin the 2018 preseason taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Some of the biggest stars in football face off in Philadelphia as the Steelers take on the Eagles. The defending Super Bowl champions versus one of the most successful franchises in NFL history.
While the preseason game may not carry the same weight as the regular season to the veterans, for Jordan and Christian, it's not just the coaches who will be evaluating their performance. It's a first impression to the entire world. Early in the second half, Jordan's number was finally called. His first snap of American football didn't go as planned. Jordan gave up a sack, causing an Eagles turnover. I told you, I told you that's that's what's coming, right? They ain't, they can't get around. You. You're too big. So you take your two kicks, you start to gather, and be ready to go. And you went back like that, shut them down. The disappointment didn't last long, as his next two quarters made the rookie lineman looked like a seasoned vet. Big hole for Ajayi, a first down, and big time running outside the 20. And there it is! Runs out of harm's way and finds his receiver along the sideline for first down. Callahan's got a little time this time and fires for a first down. You know, half protection is outstanding. The show blitz back out of it, a four-man rush. Oh, oh. On the run, it's small work. And room to run to the outside for first down yard. On second down, out of the shotgun. Plenty of time and a perfect throw downfield for the first down. Soon after the game, the two former rugby players share a moment at midfield. Yeah, yeah, we're going to, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> You did it, man. Have a great rest of preseason. Jordan Mailata's narrative reads like a cliche. He's been the fish out of water, the diamond in the rough, the absolute underdog at every stop. From his first days in Australian rugby to the waiting rooms at the NFL draft. But despite all manner of obstacles, he has managed to overcome. I think maybe the best story in the entire National Football League is here in Philadelphia, and that's left tackle Jordan Mailata. I didn't think he had a shot at making the Eagles 53. I thought he was a practice squad guy only. They're saying Mailata might make the 53, not some fun international project, not yeah. some international story that we put up. He might make the 53 yeah. because he has been that impressive in making that many strides. He is competing with NFL defensive ends and protecting quarterbacks, having not played football in any setting until July. This kid's got heavy hands, great balance, naturally powerful. He's making the 53, and he might be your left tackle of the future. Thanks to tireless effort, Jordan did more than make a practice squad. He's earned a coveted spot on the 53-man active roster of the National Football League's Super Bowl champions. When we were starting at IMG Academy, you know, my dream was to try and understand what left tackle position was. And you know, now being here in this moment, you, you finally realize that it is life changing. Now he'll author a new chapter, thanks to a new job title. Jordan Maialata, offensive lineman, Philadelphia Eagles. It's going to be good. Stay tuned.